Hello everybody, it is Eric here, and a potential rumor or leak uh, regarding Five Nights at Freddy's security breach has recently been discovered. This was found by Twitter user, your mom. <laughs> So what you're seeing on screen right now is thought to be chapters, but more specifically, chapter names. So if this is true, Five Nights at Freddy's security breach will have a story to it, and the story will be separated into chapters. So for chapter number one, we have a new beginning. I guess this will proclaim a new and fresh beginning for Fazbear Entertainment, and we'll possibly see some kind of a cutscene where Hot Night Guard Woman, aka Vanessa, walking into the mall, possibly on her first day on the job, observing the brand new animatronics, restaurants, layout, basically everything, thusly in presentation to the title of A New Beginning. Ugh, when will I talk about Star Wars? Chapter number 2 is called The Birthday. So in this chapter, there will likely be a birthday party held within the facilities. However, before I say anything, I just want to say this heavily reminds me of something Phone Guy says in Five Nights 2 regarding a birthday party. And you, Jeremy, will be on day shift. Now if you theorize, this was when the bite of 87 took place, so I'm actually thinking that this may actually be where the trouble starts. Fairly early though, so I'm not sure. Or I guess this could just be an innocent party and I'm looking too far into this. <laughs> Which also might be possible. <laughs> Chapter number 3 is called The Case of the Missing Children. So just like the previous chapter, this one also reminds me of the uh, foregoing mystery of the 5 missing children case from Five Nights 1. So this chapter here may shine some light onto that. So theorists could possibly figure out the lore of this particular incident. Or maybe this chapter will hold a brand new missing children case, meaning that Vanny is already on the run. Also quite early, I guess. Chapter number 4 is titled, The Conspiracy. So my thoughts towards this one would go against my predictions of chapter number 3. But like either way, like everything in this video, take it with a grain of salt. So I believe this chapter will show Vanny getting her orders from Glitch Trap. And this is where she begins her... how you'd say, uh... escapade. But, you know, if that isn't how this chapter plays out, I'd also guess Glitch Trap tells her about the underground facility, the very area we see in the second trailer for Security Breach. But anyway, moving on to chapter number 5, which is called Operation Underground. Now, once again, I believe this one is pointing towards the underground facility we saw in the second trailer for Security Breach. Unless there's another underground facility, possibly a bunker of some sort. And trust me, if this is the case, I do not want to see the horror that may or may not go on inside that bunker. But either way, let me know which one you think this chapter will be about. The underground facility we saw, or an unseen secret underground bunker. Chapter number 6 is titled, The Virus. So for this chapter, I'd assume that this is the point where the Glamrock animatronics are tampered with and a virus is installed in them, turning them evil. But there's two things we've yet to know about this, which would likely be answered in this chapter. Firstly, how did this virus get installed in them? I guess the only two answers to this would be Vanny has tampered with them by herself, or Glitch Trap has corrupted them, or you know, now that I think about it, those two options could very likely mix and uh, you know, be the same thing. Chapter number 7 is Nighty Night Sleep Tight. I'm actually kinda stumped on my prediction for this one. I guess maybe Vanny has a bunch of children in the underground bunker. That is, if there even will be one. And the horror show begins there. Judging by this title, it probably wouldn't be anything good. If you remember from my trailer analysis video regarding the second trailer, Vanny has a voice line saying, and put you to bed. 
and I've cleared that that is an analogy for and kill you and stuff like that. And now finally for chapter number 8 we have The Return. Now there's many possibilities spread for this one. One idea could be this chapter is the big finale with the dramatic ending and there's an end cutscene where Vanessa returns to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzaplex. However, many years in the future and sees everything. Maybe it's closed, shut down, abandoned, who knows. And after that cutscene, the end credits play. Or we could uh, possibly walk around this future abandoned, broken down pizzaplex and maybe solve the mystery, find some secrets, easter eggs, you know, anything. I don't know. Other from that, I could also think that chapter number 7 is the ending of her first day on the job and Vanessa goes home and in chapter 8 is when we return for day 2. But yeah, that's some concepts I'm thinking of. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about this. What do you think these chapters have in store for us? Also, let me know if you think this is a rumor or not. I'm kinda erring on the caution that it is a rumor. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Hot Nightguard Woman must have some nice tittles. Uh, <laughs> so let me know your thoughts on this. And otherwise, with all that being said, subscribe for more FNAF videos. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Stay fresh.